And in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. I'm Reverend Father Zechariah Fufui, and this is Echoes of Catechesis. It is not unfortunate, it is truly fortunate that this year's Valentine, 2024 Valentine's Day, coinciding with Ash Wednesday. Has anything gone bad? Come closer. Nothing actually has gone bad. You can still express love, sincere love, with that person you said you love on a Ash Wednesday. The church teaches that on Ash Wednesday, you fast. You can fast from 6 to 12. You can fast from 6 to 6. It depends, but observe the time for fasting. But if you are not healthy enough, please don't fast. Then the church teaches that you abstain. Abstain from meat. You can also abstain from things, pleasurable things. Whatever pleasurable thing you want to abstain from, you can. All of that sanctifies your soul for couples. This year's Valentine's Day, coincided with Ash Wednesday, gives you the opportunity to look deep into the love life of you and your husband, the love life of you and your wife. How faithful have you been in your relationship with your wife, in your relationship with your husband? The one you call your love. The promises you made on that day of the celebration of the sacrament of matrimony on your wedding day. How faithful have you been in keeping all those promises? Ash Wednesday is all about repentance. Ash Wednesday is all about looking inward and see how you reconnect back to God. Ash Wednesday is all about seeing whether your friendship with God, there are cracks. So it calls you as couples to look into your relationship. Are there cracks? Are you doing those things you need to do, you ought to do as couples? Couples that the Lord has brought together to become not two, but one. How is your love life? Are you treating your husband very well? Are you treating your wife very well? I want to read what St. Paul tells us about love in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 down. It tells us that love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous. Love is not proud. Love does not keep record of wrongs. Love is not happy with evil. Are you patient enough as couples with each other? Are you kind? Do you keep record of wrongs done by each other? Do you truly express love the way you ought to express it with each other as a couple? It's an opportunity for you to have a deeper reflection on your love life. And above all, it's all about the relationship with God. The latest season calls you to reflect on how far your relationship with God is going. How far is your journey, your marital journey with your wife or with your husband, your marital journey, how far is it connected to God? This journey, this beautiful love story between you and your wife, you and your husband, is God truly involved? In our relationship, is God involved? Is God truly the one leading or we are just leading ourselves? It calls for a deeper reflection. And for those who are into Christian courtship, you can celebrate the love of your life. It's an opportunity for you to see the relationship, the courtship you are into. Is it true? Is it real? Where is it leading to? Is God involved? It's an opportunity for you to bring God into your relationship. It's an opportunity for you to do away with whatever you are doing that is not good enough for the person you say you love. Ash Wednesday this year that is coinciding with the Valentine's Day gives you an opportunity to reflect deeply upon the journey you are making, the courtship. How true is it? How sincere are both of you in this relationship? And with all that you have come to know about each other, can we take the bold step to be committed? Love is commitment. So, can we now make this commitment of I do, I do to one another, giving each other a consent and going to the altar to say we give ourselves to each other as husband and wife. What about the food? What about the other enjoyment? Can we still do them? Yes, you can. If you're observing your fast from 6 to 12, from 1 from 2, from 4 
You can go to a tree but avoid meat. Barbecue is okay. Apart from meat, there are other kind of food. Just share something. Just share something. You can share something with your love. If you're observing your fast from 6 to 6, from 7, from 8 p.m., you can have a time with your lover. But ensure that you keep the day sacred and holy. God will indeed be pleased if you observe this Valentine's Day and also observe all that the church teaches on Ash Wednesday, uniquely and special. Use this opportunity to reflect deeply on your love life, the journey towards fire, and then try and repent of things you know that are not good in your relationship. I pray for you as couples, I pray for you as lovers who are courting, hoping to marry, that the grace that comes with this Lenten season, as it begins with Ash Wednesday, we overflow in your lives. May God renew your love for each other. May God give you the grace to be committed to each other. And for those who are already married, may God help you to overcome all those things that are bringing crisis into your marital life. Those who have issues with childlessness, may God give you the fruit of the womb. Financial issues, may God help you in your finances. May God bless you in all that you do. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy Ash Wednesday celebration and happy Valentine's Day celebration. May the God of love strengthen your love for one another. God bless you.